Hello and welcome to Take to the Road. I'm Noel Julian. Today I'm at Classic Central Auctions at Bedford Autodrome. And I'm testing a modern classic. The classic that we've all seen on the roads for many, many, many years. Thoroughbred stalwart of motoring. It is, of course, the Mercedes 190. This particular Mercedes 190 is a 1990 model and is carbureted. So it's not a 190E, so it hasn't got fuel injection. Um, which means it's the entry level 190. You know, I've never driven one of these before. I've always thought about getting a 190. Prices of them have completely dropped to nothing these days. So this one has an automatic transmission. It's got a two liter engine, single Stromberg carb, and I've got windy windows. So no electric windows in this one. And we got the classic Mercedes cloth seats, big steering wheel. Yeah, I'll just put the long here doing about 30 miles an hour. It's fine, it's happy. And the cabin is not bad, it's quite spacious. We got a sunroof. Yeah, I've got a footrest here, which is nice. Nice armrest at a good height. It's not too bad. I mean, if I was to compare it against the 500 SL I drove in my last review, I mean, that's a bit unfair, to be honest. I mean, the SL is was top of the line back in the day. And to put a little two liter single carb engine up against 5 liter V8 fire breathing monster is a bit unfair. So what is the performance like in this market? phase of its life. I think now is the time to start looking at getting a good, straight, clean 190. Some enthusiasts would probably prefer to have the fuel injection version for a 2.3 or 2.5 litre engine, or of course the Cosi. Everybody wants the Cosi, but you know, if you haven't got 10, 15 grand to spend, then this is the kind of car that you need to look at. Yeah, and I think it's it's got its merits. Definitely got its merits. I was quite happy just booting along here. Steering is really good. Just one finger, basically. Let's try this performance again. That's the floor. Here we go. That's all right. That's not bad. like to 
have Lamborghini Miura, Ferrari F40, decent master Mangusta, but sometimes you have to be realistic. I think the 190 is a good car to start with if you're looking for a entry level beginner classic. It's practical, four doors, big boot, good reliable engine, parts availability is still very good. As an everyday driver, I think this one's worth a look. So let's see how it did in the auction. Standing, any good to you, Tim, at that price? No, you're out. 5.50, 5.50, I'm in. 5.50.